let's uh, read this verse. It's in Ephesians 2 verse 10. I'll, I'd like to read in Amplified uh, Translation. So, it says here, For we are His workmanship, His own masterwork, a work of art. Look at the person next to you. That's a work of art. Never, never mess around with the work of art. Ayo pag sayun sayun at imosapit nga work of art. Created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works. Medikita good works that God has been preparing for us, has prepared for us, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking path which He set so that we would walk in them. Living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. We are, we are still in our series, Walking with Jesus. And uh, our pastor really, really desires to communicate that the Lord wants to reveal his heart for his people. He wants to reveal his ways and that we will eventually find ourselves in his will. In, in that journey, there's a, there's a constant moment by moment revelation of who He is. That we would see His heart. And that every time we, we come across situation, maaram kita how to see it. How we, we, ha, we will have a perspective of the situation we are in. Sometimes we misjudge God by what we go through and what we feel. But when we know His heart, we will know how to see the situation. It, it breaks my heart when I hear stories of people almost committing suicide or have committed suicide because they have, they missed the time where they could see God's heart. And they think they are, they are abandoned. They think there's no hope. There is, there's nothing to hold on to this life. So they just let go of it. But you are here tonight. For a purpose. You are here tonight that you would see God's heart more and more and more. More like Jesus. More of His word. More of His will. More of His ways. That's what God wants for all of us. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you will just pour out your heart upon your people today. I pray God that you will use me as your vessel. Thank you God for words that will come out of my mouth, Lord. Let it be life. Let it be hope. Let it, be, let it be a confirmation. Let it be a, a, a revelation, Lord. God, just use me today. I have the joy and privilege to speak the word to your people today. Bless them. Thank you, God, for hearts that are ready to receive. Thank you, God, for my mouth that are ready to declare. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On your way to your seats, say, you are God's masterpiece or workmanship. I'd like to, I'm titling this, this message today entitled Growing Faith. Growing Faith. Anybody in, the, in this room has growing faith. Amen. Growing faith is very important in our journey with Christ because as long as you are journeying, journeying with Jesus. Your faith will never remain where it is. Naagri pa kama hito? Growing faith is very, very vital in uh, discovering things. Remember in the verse that we, have said, we, we just read, it said there that there are good works that God has prearranged for us that He already said. And, and, and there's a path that leads to it. Now, our every step that we need to take is a a moment by moment discovery of what really God has put in place before us. Now, not behind us, but before us. There's nothing to look back on the past. Everything that God is inviting us 
to look into is in the future. That's why you may get a hope. Hope is a, uh, um, is a good ito? expectation. A joyful expectation of the good things in the future. Amo ito tatong hope. I was telling my life group a while ago, um, you can survive without drinking water for three days. Pero itaw nga waray hope, diri ha maabdan buwas. And that's a sad thing for someone who miss to hold on to hope. Now, our journey with Jesus assure us, assures us of a faith-filled experience. I, I said that experience because the things that we're going to talk about here will not, I pray that will not just remain as a topic that we discuss, but as an experience that we can testify Hinon may mga testimony nga di. Or hinon mga nangalimot na yung mga testimony. Nga may da ngayon ka mo testimony. I pray that the Holy Spirit will remind you today of that testimony that you can actually go back and then find yourself, Oy, ato ngayon akong faith, nabilin ko nga to. I need to go back to that testimony because that's where God will start. You're believing for something and you're thinking about, what am I going to do in my life? But actually, my prayer today is that the Holy Spirit will remind you of that testimony. Go back. Go back there. At to dito, gusto ni Lord magtigang. Because He will remind you that He has been faithful over your life. You will know that you are walking with Jesus is your faith. If your faith is growing. If you are one of the disciples of Jesus, back in the day, an era time, there's not a time that ito nga nga nag-stagnant an era faith. Because every time where, where Jesus goes, it's either their faith is challenged or their faith has been brought to the next level. That's a cycle of the journey and faith and mga disciples of Jesus. Not to challenge and era faith. And then, eventually, it, it, it went to another level. Now, my encouragement for all of us today is that you will never look down on the faith of your faith, wherever your faith is right now. Because God knows where your faith is. He knows where your faith is. Kuya, uh, Mr. Pedrita, sana ako Mr. Pedrita kay nagti-teach man good man ako. Tawag ako Mr. Pedrita. But anyway, um uh eta kon faith yan abagan ko na lay mumho. Maupay kay maupay pa kay mumho na la wari na anak bugas. <laughs> mumho na la na kon faith. But do you realize that the Bible has described that even your faith is a mustard seed. Once that seed is planted, it is the greatest tree compared to other tree. Mustard seed, this small, but when it's planted, it shall grow. I'd like to read a story in Luke 8. One of my favorite stories in Luke 8. Some of you have already heard about this. I've shared this before. But I think it's worth sharing because all of us are in the process of our faith being grown. Hinapat nag-aampo yan na. May daka prayer ni Lord. Lord, gusto ko gan mag-grow na akong faith. Al sa daw niyo kamot. Para damo na kita. Ay gusto ko gan mag-grow. How about the people at the back? Hi guys. Gusto niyo mag-grow niya faith. Oh. If you have that desire, I want to tell you guys that the Lord has the greatest and joyful desire that the, He would see your faith grow. There's, there's one person that's so excited that your faith goes to the next level because he's so excited of the things that he wants to show you. Because sometimes we need faith to see things. Then I didn't appreciate it, mga bangay ni Lord, because we forgot that we have faith. For us to see it. We need faith for us to see it. 
let's let's go to Luke 8 verse 22. Let's just let's start from there and let let uh, let's read it all through all the way to 25. Now it happened on a certain day he got into the boat with his disciples. I'm not sure whose boat is this, but what an honor for this for the owner of the boat. Magamitan niya boat with Jesus and his disciples. And said to them, let us, go, let's, let us cross over to the other side of the lake. So this is a Lake Galilee. Um, lake, but uh, from time to time, most uh, fishermen go uh, uh, back and forth in a uh, body of water. So uh, there are towns surrounding it. And Jesus said, let's go to the other side. May the plan the Lord. Let's launch, launch out. Let's uh, continue lang. But as they sail, sailed, he fell asleep. Um, prior to this, damon mga ginhimo ni Jesus. Nag-multiply in bread. Damon mga healing and miracle. I said, uh, kaya no dala kumaturo ni Jesus? Well, he, he was human. Nakafilihan kapoy. It's just, it's just the Bible is showing us that Jesus himself is Man. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, able to do what he did. But he, at that time, took the opportunity to rest. And, and the windstorm came down on the lake. And they were filling with water. And were in jeopardy. In, in danger. And then the disciples came to him and awoke him saying, Master, Master. When the word is, is, is repeated to, twice, may uh, greater degree of urgency. May the uh, emphasis on anot gin, gin. So, ang mga disciples, dumapera kang Jesus. Master, Master, we are perishing. Mapatay na kita, Lord. Maapi ka. Very Jesus, nagaturog lahi ah. Then he rose and rebuked the wind and the raging water. And they ceased. And there was calm. But he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, mixed emotion, afraid and marveled, saying to one another, conversation, ano? Jesus was like somewhere, like, he knew by ining aton upud upud. <laughs> For he, or who can this be? All the while, I know, I thought I know already this guy. Like, kahon ako. Magandamat ya kaya himo, nagmo multiply and bread, um, heal the sick. This is unheard of. This is like never before, bro. Like, I've never seen this. Come, uh, authority over nature. For he commands even winds and water, and they obey him. Now, I was like asking myself a question. If I am Jesus, who knows the thoughts and the hearts of these disciples, masering ako, ngadto kita somewhere. Uh, let's say here, my disciple, he, he Jacob, he, he, no kain nga rin bro? Ian. Ian. Um, Ian. Jacob, ngadto kita on the other side. Pero ako, Jesus, maaram ako at heart ni, ni Koan, ni Nigel. Ko ma, Nigel, dere ka maupod. Nagda-doubt ka ha akon. Dere ka pwede mo po. Ha? Di na ka. But Jesus was, did not say anything about his disciple nga nagda-doubt. Nagigets niyo guys? Jesus knows the heart of these people. Yet, so imagine, imagine if, if I am Jesus journeying with these people, this, sometimes nagda-doubt, sometimes nagbe-believe. Familiar to, di ba? Familiar, familiar ba? Api ba yakito? <laughs> sometimes nag doubt kita, sometimes nag na believe naman. Jesus was not surprised and was not even distracted with the doubts that they have. Why? This is the good news that I have when I was reading this story. Because he's looking forward to that time where he will reveal himself like he did not reveal himself before. And he knows 
that once it's done, their faith will never be the same. Most of our challenging situations in life are opportunities that God could have orchestrated and that we could have even see God a revelation of who he is that would actually change our lives for the better. I don't know what you can go through mga challenging situation. Um, I had my share. But remember, Jesus was in the boat. Thankfully, Jesus was in the boat. Naka feel na ba kong times like we, you went to God in prayer, pero ano mo prayer baga nagre-reklamo? Lord, ano na ini? Lord, di ba? Buwas na Lord. Or, Lord, uh, may penalty na. Guys, all I want to, to communicate here is that you, you'll be encouraged that though any more faith is so good, this story is telling me that God has a plan for that kind of faith. He has a plan for that faith. Don't throw it away. I hope you throw it on so good. Rather, you plant it. In that situation, you begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Master, Master. Sige lang, kung nareklamo ka, okay lang, at least nag-call ka kang Jesus. Why? Because God is thinking about orchestrating these things. I know you will maybe doubt. Maybe you magreklamo ka. Maybe magsending ka, ano na ini Lord? Tiri Lord mo offend. Why? He has a plan for that faith. Your faith will never be the same again if Jesus is in the boat. If Jesus is walking with you or you are walking with Jesus every time we walk with Jesus your faith will not stay the same you are either challenged or either your faith is on the next level hino ang mga gusto nga faith nga next level faith in this place church come on I'm challenging you today I don't know kung ano mo face yan ang a week or yan actually nag-isip ka na hindi mo mo face Sorry. In mo mabe face yan ang a week. You're st- you are already looking forward and ani mo pagod ginisip is worst case scenario. But it doesn't matter kung worst case scenario na mo ginisip. Jesus is thinking of other things. There is a worst case scenario but best case scenario. So number 1 We are in a God-initiated direction. Remember what Jesus said, uh, let's go to the other side. Was his, idea, was his disciples' idea? Did Peter said, I think Jesus, it's a good idea. Kato kita on the other side. Oh, sige Peter, maupit tong idea. Sige, sige, kato kita. It was Jesus' idea to go there. Because my plan is yeah. Wherever you are today, church, it seems like it feels like it, this is not the, the right place, or maybe it, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Church, I'm encouraging to, to you today. The Lord knows where you're supposed to be, and you are where you are at exactly where God wants you to be, because He is thinking of something that will change your life forever. I hope that you will hang on to there. Derika magluxo hambot. I pray that you would stay in the boat with Jesus because just wait, just linger, just a little bit more. Jesus will do something with that faith and your life will never be the same again, church. I'm encouraging you today. I'm encouraging you today. Number two. A God-initiated revelation. As I said a while ago, the greatest challenge you could ever face in this life is the greatest opportunity that you would see a new perspective of who God is. Sometimes na kita because we think it's hard, it's challenging, there's no hope for it. Kahon naton, God comes in when things are going well. But all the more God comes in when there are challenges in our lives. 
that's where we grow that's where we uh, see Jesus that's where we see God in the different light that's where that's where Jesus reveals himself in a different way when I said when I said to the Lord okay Lord marisign ako okay Lord ma enroll ako Bible school where do I get the money Lord I don't have any idea I have not seen God's favor like I did I said go Lord Thank you, Lord God. emotion. Thank you, God, that I step in faith. I have seen your hand. Good day or dako. God, what an honor to see your hand move in my life. Amazing. Lord. Hino man nagusto nga makakita ka manan hand ni Lord na move in your life, church. Sometimes we wait to see things before we believe. And that's not the way God wants us to be. He wants us to be a faith people. That's why He wants to grow our faith. Our faith needs to grow. What if I have finish line? God wants us to become a people of faith because that's who He is. He wants, he wants us to reflect who He is to us. When circumstances are bad, He wants us to say, let there be light. When God said, when there's darkness, what did God say? Let there be light. When there are hardships in your life, what do you say? What comes out of your mouth? Master, master, malulunod na kita. Now the lesson here is, if Jesus is in your boat, why would you think that you would sink? If Jesus said, let's go to the other side, and you are in his boat, but why would you think that that boat would sink? Amen. Amen. There's hope for everyone who are walking with Jesus. I don't know what you feel. I don't know what you struggle. But if you're walking with Jesus, there's hope for you. The journey that we are in is God-initiated journey. What is it? What is it? We have the opportunity and the privilege to be in that boat because we will see as we continue, as we follow him, we will see things that he, he alone can do and we will know him that he alone can reveal. And what an honor and privilege it is to see. Not all people see this. God initiated revelation is when his disciples was in fear, he revealed himself as the God of peace in that boat. Dana hindi pa kaya na ah, nangyari ito. Nag-pray ako hin, provision, ha, natood. No surprise ka nga, natood ani mo prayer. Sometimes, so ganito nga kaputangan it, it, atong dis, and mga disciples ni Jesus. But God, but God is not turned off hindi nga klaseng of faith. Why? He is the author, he'll finish it. He started it, he'll finish it, church. Come on. He, will, he, he who began a good work in us is faithful to finish it. Come on. Come on, church. Hallelujah. God is a self-revealing God. Diri mo mapapugan hi Lord to reveal himself. Every situation is God's opportunity to reveal himself because he is a self Revealing God. You don't have to ask Him. God, reveal yourself, please. Pamatiyan na akon pagampo. I-reveal gati mo self ha akon. No. Before you even pray that prayer, He already did. It's just that we need faith. We need our faith to grow to see these things. And that's where we grow. And that's where we realize, oh, what a privilege to be here in this storm. Where I see the one who can control the storm. Hallelujah. When I see the one who can provide all my needs. When I see the one who can orchestrate things. May magbayad hay mo hin. Six figure nga amount nga diri mo kilala. Paano ba yun nangyayari Lord? Someone just give you something like. How, how these things happen Lord? Now, now I, can, I can see myself in words and on my disciples. Who can this be? But remember, God is not turned off with your faith. Hindi naman mga excited na kung maabot in your faith in next level. 
Anyone excited in this house to see your faith on the next level? Come on, guys. Come on. Stay in the boat. Stay in the boat, church. When boat is being rocked, when boat is kind of like capsizing, please don't go out of the boat. Delicado. Remember, if Jesus is in your boat, there's no way to sink it. There's no way to sink it. What's the number one? God initiated direction. All of us. All of us has something to fulfill in this life. God designed it. God laid it over. And God initiated revelation. In the hardest times you are in, that's the greatest opportunity for God to reveal himself. Because he is a self-revealing God. And what an opportunity and a privilege it is to see God and testify it by ourselves. from someone. You know it from your heart. This is my God. I know who He is. You cannot talk me out because I know my God. No matter how the world's so loud trying to talk you over, ah, no, you cannot stop me. I'll testify God's goodness. I'll testify God's faithfulness. You will not silence me because I know my God. I know my God. Remember when you face hardships in life, wait and see how God reveals Himself. And lastly, God initiated elevation. Remember, when the disciples go out of that boat, they are a changed people. Compare the time they were in boat and the time that they went out of that boat, they were a different people. And that's where, where God wants us to bring. And I'd like to call with my wife because she has a lot also to share about this topic. Let's give a hand for Tanet. So we are in this theme, walking with Jesus. And how many of you know that when we say walking with Jesus, that means journey? Amen? And when we say journey, there is always a starting point. And I want to ask, who among you here have perfect faith? Can I see the hands of those people who have perfect faith? Now that is the thing that we are encouraging you with, that each and every one of us, including me, has a growing faith. Because we have not arrived yet. And we want to encourage you that that is where Jesus wants us to pick up from one level of faith to another. Because He's always taking us from glory to glory, strength to strength, grace to grace, and faith to faith. Amen? So Joe Phil talked about God initiated direction, God initiated revelation, and I want to pound on God initiated elevation. That God wants to bring our faith onto a new whole level. That God is not turned off or He will not love you less when you have imperfect faith. I, I asked Maribeth, years five years, and have you doubted God? And How many of you here doubted God? Can I see people who do doesn't lie? And I'm raising my hands too. And I want to go back to that verse on Luke 8, 24, 25, but NLT, New Living Translation. But he said to them, Where is your faith? Where is your faith? That doesn't mean that God doesn't know. But he just wants you to locate your own faith. And from there, he will take it to another level. Where is your faith? And mga disciples nga di, nakakita na hira na um, naghili Lord, may the miraculous na provision. They were in the boat with Jesus. And there was a storm. And yet they doubted. Familiar? Can you relate? You've seen your testimonies. You've experienced His goodness. You've experienced your, His faithfulness. You've experienced and tasted that He is good and merciful and His abundant grace in your life. But when challenges and storms come, you doubt. And I want to encourage you that that's okay because God will not love you less. He wants to pick up your faith from there to a whole new level. Because we want to reveal tonight that God is a gracious God. That God loves you no matter what. 
and His love for you is unchanging. That is the very character of God that we want to reveal to you. That no matter how it is that when you are faced in the middle of storms in your life, that you may doubt or you may be uncertain and you may be crying, I believe, but God help my unbelief. That's okay. Because God is a gracious God and God is not disappointed when you have an imperfect faith. Is that liberating? Amen. God can work with our imperfect faith. And I just want to throw this out. If God was able to, to silence the storm with His Word, He can silence also the storms in your heads and in your hearts with His Word. We are talking about walking with Jesus. And we, we cannot walk with, with someone we do not know. And this has been... My encouragement na bangin babalik-balik na lahat life group that always have a lifestyle in the Word. Because we can quote many beautiful, quotable quotes in this pulpit or when you're encouraging somebody. But will your life speak what you know about Jesus? Because at the end of the day, it's all about Christ-likeness. It's not about increased knowledge of who He is. But your testimony and your life will speak that Christ is in you. Amen. That is walking with Jesus. And we are talking about faith here. Growing faith. Because faith is the very core of our Christianity. That's why we are called believers. Because we believe. We are saved because we believe and we are walking in this journey because we are believing still. That God is faithful to His promise, that God will come true, that God will show up, that God will provide, that God will heal. All of these things that we are claiming, we are claiming this by faith. And no matter how small or big your faith is, God wants to take it to another level. Amen? In this story, they know Jesus. God initiated the journey. The disciples was with them. And then He revealed Himself by calming the storm. And then by that revelation, the faith of the disciples went a notch higher. Because we allowed ourselves to stay in the boat, we witnessed something that allowed our faith to grow. So I want to encourage you to continue. I want to encourage you to stay on the boat. I want to encourage you to stay on your lane and stay on your path. Because God will, as Joe Phil said, is a self-revealing God. He will always reveal Himself that will allow your faith to go a notch higher. I have this testimony it's not in my notes what i'm talking about is not in my notes my father was in icu way back when i was in college and yes i was a christian but he was in icu for one month and the bill for every day was eighteen thousand. were we rich no but there was this that that situation that story revealed to me May da doon, may da emphasis that God is my provider. And from that day forward, I knew, na embed, na establish that God is my provider. Ini na character ni Lord, ini na facet of His character, etched na haakon, embedded na haakon. So you have these stories, you have these testimonies where God allowed Himself to be revealed to you, kunino iya. And from there, He wants you to carry it in your journey. And as you go with Him in this journey, He will reveal another and another and yet another facet of His character. God... Our, 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 our theme is walking with Jesus. And 
Pastor Ram is emphasizing God's heart, God's ways, and God's will. Amen? God's heart is this. He's not turned off when your faith is not 100%. He's not turned off when your faith is like a mustard seed. He's not turned off when your faith is little. Because how many of you know that our God is El Roy? He sees. And our God is El Shama. He hears. He hears your cries. He hears your confusion. He hears your complaints and murmur. He hears your prayer like you are not believing. He sees your, shake, your hands shaking. He sees you pacing back and forth. He sees you trembling. He sees. And yet He will not give up on whatever amount of faith you have in Him. That is, his God, that is God's heart for you. And His ways is He will always show a facet of, your charac- of His character so that He will take it, whatever faith you have right now, to another level, to the next level. And His will is that your faith will never be the same. So I, wa- I would like to tell a story about Abraham and Sarah. In Genesis 15, Abraham re- How many of you, nakilala ka mo kan Abraham and Sarah? Yes. So in Genesis 15, he, Abraham received a promise na magkakamay adahian anak. Can you show it? Genesis 15, 5 to 6, NLT. Then, nagyakan ang ginoo. God said na, coming from your own body. Okay? Stay with me. So, may daya promise na magkakamayada ka na anak, Abraham, coming from your own body. And then, kadikita hagawas, look at the stars and the heavens. If you can count them, that is the number of descendants na may ka. Countless. And in verse 6, it says, And he believed. Abraham believed the Lord. Okay. Abraham believed the Lord. Genesis 15. Let's go to Genesis 16. Genesis 16, 1, 2. Sarah said, God prevented me to bear a child. So, katto haimo. So Sarah said to Abraham, The Lord has prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. And Abraham agreed with Sarai's proposal. Later on, his Sarah na ito, yeah. So his Sarah nagyakan, 76 years old kasi he Abraham had received niya ang promise. So yan, nabagat naguhulat-hulat yun mga 10 years na nayakan ang scholars, magahit waray pa man. Yung prevent niya na magkaanak ako, sige na good, sleep na law with Hagar, kay bangin through her, ako magkakaanak. But remember, ang an, an word ni Lord kanina, 15, from your own body. 17, Genesis 17, 17, nayakan nga doon na, Abraham bowed down to the ground and he laughed to himself. 17, 17. Abraham laughed to himself in what? Dako apada? In disbelief. So, nag promise Genesis 15. Genesis 16, 16. They took the matters into their hands because that is one way and gesture if you are unbelieving, if you are not taking God to His word. You take matters into your hands and you deviate from the word. So Genesis 15, promise. 16, nagdautera and they took the matters into their hand. 17, Abraham laughed at himself in disbelief. And 18, can you show it? 12, it says, so she laughed. Come on, media. Genesis 18, 12. So she laughed silently to herself. And said, how could a worn out woman like me enjoy such pleasure? Especially when my master, my husband, is also old. Sino ba nga naman? Did they doubt? Nagbelieve ba hera? Slight. 
Were their, were their faith perfect? 100% bayra tumuod kan, Lord? Did, did they took God at His word? Did they doubted the promise? But let's go to Hebrews 11.11, NLT. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child. Though she was barren and was too old, she believed that God would keep his promise. Did she laugh? Did she took the matter on his, her own hands? Did she doubt? But the Bible accounted her having the promise to her faith. Can you relate to her? In Galatians, Galatians 3.6, the title of Abraham is the father of our faith. Did he laugh? Did he doubt? Did he laugh in disbelief? But the Bible called him father of our faith. Can you relate to him? Can you relate to them? And we want to show the heart of God that even if you laugh at His promise, even if you have imperfect faith, even if you sometimes doubt of His instructions and promise, He will honor your faith, no matter how small it is. Because that is how unconditional His love is for you. Amen? Your imperfect and fluctuating faith in your life, guess what? God is not surprised. Your imperfect and fluctuating faith in your life, God will not despise. He's not surprised and He will not despise your doubts and your seemingly mustard faith and your not 100% faith and your little faith because He knows it, He sees it, but He is excited to take it to another level. Go ahead. Give God praise. A God who is gracious. A God who is, His love for us is unconditional. And His grace for us reminds me that it is His, his, his grace is His own doing. It is a God-initiated kind of grace. Now, no matter how I look at myself, imperfect, flawed, danay, nagda-doubt, danay, in disbelief, in, in, in disbelief, but God sees me with a gracious and loving eyes. Kaupahit atong ginawa, no? Is God revealed to you tonight? Does His heart makes you more worship Him? Does His heart make you praise Him more? Does it make you come boldly to Him to pray? Do you want to know Him more? Because that is His heart for you. Because we, we tend to neglect, brush off the realities of life. That we have a faith that is undying, that faith that is confident. That's true. Because that is, that is true. But the reality is, I doubt sometimes. Do you doubt too? Do you doubt that God will provide for your tuition fee? Do you doubt that you have been praying for so long that your family will be saved? Do you doubt na makakaasawa ka pa? Do you doubt that your, your provision will come on time? Do you doubt that maybe there is na ako makaka birth out in business idea? Bang hindi rin na ako makapadayon? Do you doubt na may ada pa reconciliation? Ha imo family? Ha iyo relationship? Do you doubt sometimes? And I love the word growing. 
Because it is present continuous. It is your now. And it will continue to grow as you stay in your lane walking with Jesus. Amen? Faith is this. It is not the absence of doubt. Na, na, dere ako ma doubt na God will provide. Faith keeps on believing in the middle of doubt. I will keep on believing for my family's salvation. I will keep on believing that God will show up for me to for him to provide for my tuition. I will keep on believing for the healing of my mama, papa, whoever it is. I will keep on believing that God will unite my family. I will keep on believing in the middle of my sometimes doubts. Little or faith-filled kaman, it is faith still. Little or faith-filled is faith still. And the good news is God can work with that. God can work with ever, whatever it is that you have. God can grow it because He wants you to go to the other side and witness, experience a whole new level of His character, of His facet, of His goodness, of His grace, of His mercy, of His love. Amen? In 1 John 5, 4, it says, Amplified. For everyone born of God is victorious and overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Our what? Pagpadayun, pagpursigi, na pagtoo. Diri man perfect, pero nagpapadayun. Diri man perfect, pero nagpupursigi. Kanino? Haatun ginoo. On Jesus, the Son of God. So my, our encouragement, our desire is that you will continue. Continue to come to church because this is where your faith will grow. This is where faith-filled people will impart to you. We are not perfect but, but we know our God because we have seen His hand move in our impossible situation. And when we stand here, we know what we're talking about because we have seen that God really is our provider. That God really makes a way when there seems to be no way. That God really is a healer. That God really is faithful to His promise and to His word. We encourage you to continue. We encourage you to join a life group where, where, where you know and debunk the lies that your situation is isolated na it ikaw lait nakaka experience ito pero when you are in a community makakayakan ka aw oh, hiya ngay an gihap but he is or he or she is still standing he or she is still full of joy full of hope kay ano daw la we will learn from each other we will discover god through each other's experiences and testimonies we encourage you to continue to continue to pray and communicate that whatever it is or however it is that you speak to Him, just speak to Him. In your murmur, in your complaint, like Job, in your highs and in your lows, in your complete what I fault na English or what I waray, Tagalog, whatever it is, just continue to talk to Him. Your faith will grow as you know more about Him. We encourage you to Continue to read His Word, to read the Word of God, because this is not something to do, but it is, this is someone to know. And as you increase in your revelation of who Jesus is, your faith will grow as well. As you grow more on, uh, on your knowledge of who He is, your faith will also grow because it will grow in confidence. It will grow in its boldness. It will grow in its trust. Knowing that my God, that I'm reading, walking, knowing in me is faithful, powerful, almighty, all-knowing, omniscient, omnipotent. Natanan na. My all in all. And as you know more about Him, your faith will never remain the same. 
it will always grow and it it will always your knowledge about him will always take you you take your faith to a whole new level amen i would like everybody to stand in hebrews 12 2 to 3 g and t it says let us keep our eyes fixed on jesus on whom our faith depends from beginning to end your journey with jesus begins with your faith and your journey with him also will end with him with your faith in him and i want to encourage you right now to don't give up on jesus because he's not giving up on you and don't give up on his character based on your situation trust his heart that he is working behind the scene for your own good for your own advantage and when you know that the favor the blessing that you are experiencing is god initiated you will not condemn yourself if you have little faith if you have faith like a mustard seed because you know that god is not turned off with however your faith may look like because he can work with it no matter what size it may be and as you put your hands to your heart i know there are areas in your life that you are not believing god na magpapakita hiya, or that he will still answer your prayer and i want you to think and declare to yourself god grow my faith as i fix my eyes on you grow my faith i know that you are true I know that you are able. I know that you are willing. I know that you are faithful. I know that you are reliable. I know that you are trustworthy. I know and I will rest. I don't have imperf I don't have a perfect faith. My faith may be imperfect. But it will not hinder your grace, your love, your favor, your blessing to be poured out in my life. I thank you, Jesus, that you are the author and the finisher of my faith. And as I'm journeying with you, I will continuously fix my eyes on you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Keep standing. We're going to sing this song. If you believe for a little today, you believe for a lot tomorrow. If you believe for a little today, you believe for a lot tomorrow. It only takes a seed of faith. Let it grow. Let it grow. If you believe for Come on, sing it out. You believe for a lot tomorrow. If you believe for a little today, you believe for a lot tomorrow. If you believe for a little today, you believe for a lot tomorrow. It only takes a seed of faith. Let it grow. Let it One more time, sing it out. If you believe for a little today, you believe for a lot tomorrow. If you believe for a little Today. Come on, declare it. You believe for a lot tomorrow. If you believe for a little today, you believe for a lot tomorrow. It only takes a seed of faith. Let it grow, let it grow. Let it grow.
pray for you church dear heavenly father thank you we will not fight off moments of discomfort moments of discouragement moments of doubt we know God that you are with us even in doubt even in fear all the more you are with us all the more you are there to comfort us all the more, God, you are there to give us peace that transcends all understanding. We want to give up. Your strength is with us. So, God, thank you. Help us. Help us to see the situation with eyes of faith. Help us to see you, God, in the situation. Help us to see you, Lord, what it is that you are revealing, what it is, Lord God, that you are showing us, Lord. I pray, Lord. That all of us here together, Lord, we find ourselves in the other side with faith like never before. Faith as strong like never before. God, I declare, Lord God, over your people right now, Lord. God, I pray that they will not give up, that we'll continue to pursue the things that you are doing, Lord God. That we'll continue, Lord God, to walk by faith and not by sight. I pray, God, that they will not be driven around by emotion, driven around by circumstances that will find confidence in the fact that you are with us. And thank you, Lord, whatever, whatever has been sown in the hearts of your people today is a seed. I pray, God, that you will water it. And I pray, God, your people, Lord God, will let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let the word grow. Let the word grow until it becomes a tree, until it's bearing fruit, until people benefit from our testimony of your faithfulness, of your goodness, of your provision, Lord God, of that story, Lord God, that only we could tell. And bring hope to the hopeless, bring life to those who are dying, bring strength to those who are weak. Thank you, God, for today. Holy Spirit, seal the words that has been declared today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a praise, church. Come on. Thank you so much for joining us. We pray that you were blessed by today's message. Here are some ways how you can continue to give your tithes and your offering here in New Life Tacloban. Thank you, church, and God bless.